Yeah, obviously, um, it's probably a big goal, but I don't see it as such. Um, you know, we know that we've got in Morna, he's always done well for us, so uh, you, know, you can't probably experiment in a championship, but I have a lot of confidence in Andre and I want to see what he can do at, uh, at the highest level. Uh, you know, he's a guy that I believe can play in the World Cup or can play a big part in the World Cup, and uh, he just came into, into test match rugby, but he was very successful here in the under-20 tournament. I know it's not the same. But uh, I've always had a lot of confidence in him. He's a different type of player, and uh, you have to do something different if you want to beat New Zealand. So it's an opportunity for him to see what he can do, uh, to show what he can do. And uh, he's a gutsy player, a lot of character. He brings something different to the team. And we've always you know, want to evolve and play some attractive rugby. So hopefully, you know, it's a dry field, and uh, you know, we can play some great attacking rugby. Is he now the, the, the first choice, or are you just having a look at him this morning? No, I think after the championship, we'll definitely know going into the World Cup. Um, it will be the first and second choice, and then we'll stick with those guys. Like I said, uh, there's not a lot of test matches left, and no, I think only two test matches left at home. So you have to see what he can do under pressure, and you know, to put him up against the best team in the world is an unbelievable challenge for him. And to play next to Jan, which is a 21-year-old and a 20-year-old, uh, it's great for the future. But I still believe that they're good enough to, uh, you know, to play well in this game. Sorry, did you give any consideration to Patrick Lambie at all? Or? <clears throat> Definitely. Um, you know, Pat probably would have been the obvious choice as well to give him some game time. The only problem with Pat, unfortunately, you know, I really looked forward to him playing this old super rugby and playing more flatter and more attacking. Uh, unfortunately, he's been injured for quite some time and, uh, you know, he hasn't played a lot of rugby and it's always a big risk, especially when they came here in the, in the, in the super rugby quarters as well. Uh, you have to be sharp. We Andre has played a lot of rugby, he's done well. Gave him a break, and it's now up to him to, to show that he's good enough to uh, to make a number one berth. He's, I've got a lot of confidence confidence in him. He's a he's a quality player, he's unbelievable on defence and and attack. He's got a great kicking game, so I think he's a he's a future prospect, and I can't wait to see him play. What are you expecting from from Yeah, you know, again, you know, you're playing the best best backline probably in world rugby, so it's definitely going to be tested. And what the All Blacks does well, they uh, attack the 10-12 channel, so. You know, you've got two youngsters there, but both have been the best players in the age groups in the world in uh, the 20th tournament. So I believe they're quality players going ahead. So, uh, you know, they have to prove that they can defend at this level. And, uh, you know, attacking-wise, and Andre is, is superb, but also to dictate the game. And uh, we obviously want to run as well, that, you know, we want to move on and, and, and hopefully if it's a dry field, play some open running rugby. But the most important thing for me is to go out there and enjoy himself. Um, he's a type of player who's very level-headed. And I can't wait to see him go against one of the top five in the world and one of the top back lines in the world, or probably the top back line. So uh, he needs to be calm, go out there and enjoy himself. I think the All Blacks are missing a few. Do you sense a unique opportunity in that regard? They're missing a few, but uh, if you look at our team, we're probably missing the whole back line. Um, you know, the likes of Rita Priya, Jacques Ferry, uh, JP Peterson, Franz Stein, you know, that's guys that all 50 tests. And that's probably been one of the worries in this team where the thoughts are settled and uh, struggle to get continuity in the backs. But uh, the great thing about that, all those guys can be available for the World Cup. So we're building a nice second tier youngsters that's, that's going to come through. So I'm quite happy with that. But uh, they're still an unbelievable tough squad. I think what they get right is they've got the right system where all the players are involved. They know exactly how to play. The franchises play more or less the same. So they're always very, very dangerous. And like I said, it's the same with our side, especially in the backs. You know, if you just look at our bench, a lot of youngsters there, two or three test matches in, you know, in our back line as well. So they still feel a very experienced outfit. And, uh, you know, once a player put on an all-black jersey and probably a Springbok jersey as well, uh, they're world-class players. It doesn't matter who they miss. Sam, 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 Sam White locks out. Do you see the line-out as well there? <coughs> you guys can dominate you know, to say dominate the All Blacks is big words. Like I said, I've got a lot of respect for them, respect for their coaching staff as well. So uh, <clears throat> I think the one, the few areas where they made a huge step up in the last few years is especially the lineups. They've always been, and I say this with uh, humility, they've always been, I'm talking about eight, nine years back, a little bit vulnerable in the lineups. And, um, you know, maybe in the kicking game now, the lineups is one of their strengths. Um, if you look at the last two, three years, they're probably up there with the best, if not the best in the lineups. And what's a difficult play against them is their kicking game. I think they've got the best kicking game in the world. The tactic in kicking game is superb. Uh, the fitness they also superb. So they force you into errors and then play from turnover. So it's difficult, you know, to play against them. And there's no there's no bad areas in their play. You know, I think they're a well balanced side, very superb fit, a lot of continuity from the World Cup. So it is difficult. But uh, you know, we've got a great line out and uh, 
I think it'll be interesting to see what's going to happen there. Yeah, traditionally, Matt Phillips kind of dominated that you know, jumper, but how important is it for you to have jumpers all through the full pack? No, you have to have that in, in, in World Rugby now. You have to have at least five jumpers. Unfortunately, they don't throw a lot where Matt Field is, but it puts pressure on the other jumpers. But he's been, he's been great coming back, and um, you know, our lineup's improved, and uh, he's been 100% the last two games. So uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, you know, he's a big part of our lineup. But you have to have more jumpers than that, and I'm happy with the amount of jumpers we've got in the team. But by saying that, the same to them, you know, that was got a quality pack and a lot of great lineup jumpers. And, uh, you know, they really test you, especially with, with short kickoffs. So even there, you have to be very, very good down at the high ball. And uh, like I said, it's quality side and there's no weak areas there. But for us, it's the ultimate challenge. It's great to be here. Love being here and uh, looking forward to a tough game.